In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fade a clip in and out in Premiere Pro. So you can see I've got Premiere open and I just dragged on my clip from my project here. Now, once you've got your clip on your timeline, I'm just going to unlink and remove the audio from it. This is just a standard clip and we're going to fade in and out. Now to do this, you want to click on your clip, then go to your effect controls, which should be in the top left hand corner. Make sure you're on window and you've got the effects and effects controlled checked. Also, if you can't see it, go to workspaces and you might be in the wrong workspace. So for me, I edit in the color workspace, but if you're in like some weird workspace, just change back to editing and it should be similar to mine. Once you click on your clip though, and you go to effect controls, you want to look for the opacity section. So it should be here. Click on the downwards arrow on opacity. Now bring this blue cursor here, this cursor here on the timeline. You want to make sure that this is at the start of your clip. Then go ahead and change the opacity here from 100 to 0. Now you might want to create a keyframe if it hasn't already. So click on this stopwatch icon on opacity. Now on your preview screen, you'll notice it's gone black, which is great. You want it to obviously start from black and then fade into the clip slowly. Now go ahead and bring your cursor to the starting point of the clip or where you want the fade to end. Then change the opacity here to 100 and it should then create a new keyframe. Now that should fade in. So here it is. So you can see it fades in. Now to fade it out, you want to do the exact same, but the opposite here. So go to the near the end of the clip, create a keyframe. So click this button and it will add a keyframe. So here you can see, then you just want to fade it out to nothing. So go ahead and change the opacity to zero. And obviously make sure you bring this cursor a couple of seconds towards the end of the clip. So in the middle of the clip, it's going to be normal, but when it gets to this keyframe here, it's going to start to go from 100% opacity all the way down to zero on this keyframe here. That's how you do it. I hope that helps you out.